Okay, it should hopefully be live. Okay, it didn't crash. That's a good sign. Maybe they changed my key for yeah, some it. reason. You're, you're alive, I see you. Okay, uh, let me check the audio levels. Uh, there, how's it sound? You seem to be the only other person here. Okay, so the balance is good. Okay, cool. Alright, well, Derp, since you're the f one of the first people here, I'm gonna probably let you take control of one of the characters, too. I'll um, explain it when I get there. I'm gonna give a minute or two for maybe one or two other people to get here. Oh, good. Midnight Voyager. You can have control of a person. So I got Ragni, Derp, and Midnight Voyager. So far, let's see if anyone else comes. I don't know what a Yogg is. I'm sure we'll find out. And Grassland. Okay, there we go. We'll uh, get going then. These are our four characters. Uh, what you guys like? The people I called Ragni, Midnight Dirt, and Grassland. Pick your characters. I'll explain what you're going to be doing. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tweak that. Sorry. I forgot. Um, uh, okay, Derp wants the bearded dude. Oh, I'm a character. Um... Uh, it looks like you get the top dude, the, the dashing fellow. Cause Do looks I? Like, looks like uh, Derp called the dude in the bottom. Midnight wants a blue lady. Grassland wants red lady. So you get the orange dashing fellow. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Alright, where is the volume this stupid? There it is. Better? The Yogg will be here in six weeks. Anyone expects it. Not a one of us. Just keep on living our lives. But we unaware. And this is the meat of the game. Your characters, choose choose where to go. We have uh, six weeks, so you get like six actions. And, you know, shit happens. So, Midnight Voyager, your lady is up first. Where would you like to go? I think she didn't know what the building was just yet, because, um, you know, the, the names are on the left, and unless I flick, or, flick over the names, then you can't tell. Yeah, okay. Alright, you spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two mind and earn one wealth. One day, while in the maternity ward, you notice a woman about to give birth. The baby she births is no ordinary baby, however. Its skin is pitch black, it's shiny, and its eyes glow like an orange flame wrestles itself from the doctor's hands and tries to fly away. Well, that's Stop not bad, that omen. demon, yells the doctor. Do you use your strength or use your magic to attempt to stop it? It's not the demon, it's an X-Men. <laughs> Probably. In the upper right is your stats, it looks like your physique and magic are the same. So, uh, would you like to bully it or magic? Sorry, Cowbox, you're not in control of a character, you don't get a choice. Okay, magic it is. With a wave of your hand, you put up a magical barrier, blocking the exit. The baby breaks right through and flies off into the night sky. Well, that's that. So, uh... Derp, your turn. Tavern. Would you like to bartend or drink? Oh, it's still loud? Okay, my bad. Let me tweak that a little more. 
better. Drink it is. I think we're setting a bad example for dirt. <laughs> it's too late, the man's been corrupted. He spent the entire week getting wasted. He gained two charm and one physique. The entire week? One day, while in a tavern, a heated argument erupts between two page patrons. Soon enough, fists are flying and everyone seems to be joining in on the violence. Do you join the fray or break up the fight? And... Pretty, pretty beefy, apparently. Six physique already. <laughs> join in. You jump into the thick of the fight and let loose some pent-up rage on some unsuspecting patrons. You gain one physique from all the exertion. Grasslamp, your turn. And do note you can go to the same places, I believe? I'm not sure it's necessarily restricted. We'll find out if someone chooses it. I don't believe there's any way to see the stats. Uh... <laughs> Alchemy Tower. Would you like to clean up or brew? I have a feeling I know the answer, but... Brew it is. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, you hear one of the alchemists shout, Eureka! When you look over to see what he's done, you spot a small, previously dead ferret come to life. I figured out the antidote to death! The alchemist exclaims. The undead ferret lets out a horrific noise and lumbers about slowly. Do you destroy it, or do you praise the alchemist's accomplishment? You made a potion to create zombies. <laughs> Apparently. Praise it is. That's amazing, you say, slightly discomforted by the ferret's presence. You didn't hurt the alchemist's feelings. You gained one charm. Ragni, your turn. I'll go to the gardens. Would you like to landscape or would you like to meditate? I don't meditate. You spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two minds. Walking past a pond one day, you see a fat little frog sitting on a lily pad. Please, sir, the frog breaks. I am not a frog at all, but an enchanted prince. If you see your way to kissing me, it would, normal, would break the curse and return me to normal. Do you kiss the frog or catch it? Um... I'll kiss the frog? Kiss it is. You bend down and kiss the frog. You feel a curious stirring like a curse trying to break. Unfortunately, you don't seem to be magical enough to get the job done. Aww. The frog thanks you for your efforts and hops off sadly. You wake up the next case, next morning with a bad case of flip warps. You lose one charm. What? They say the last time it came, the Yogg devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. Alright, midnight, you're up. I uh, hear this is probably should be pretty quick, judging by how it is, so we might get two or three runs in, so we'll get a few people rolling around, we'll see how it turns up. Forest. Chop wood or hunt? Spend the week hunting various defenseless critters. You gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. One day you stumble upon a dryad picking flowers in a field. Upon noticing you, she runs up to you excitedly. Excuse me, miss, would you care to dance? She asks. I've been wanting to dance for so long, but nobody else has been around to dance with, she sighs. Do you dance or not dance? Dance. 
She giggles and takes you by the hand. She starts humming out a song and the two of you dance together in the middle of the forest. You accidentally step on her toes several times while dancing. After the third time, she stops you. She thanks you for the dance and limps off into the night. You practice dancing a little. You gain one finesse. All right, Derp, you're up. Administration work, or do you attend a ball? <laughs> I don't even know why I'm asking. I could probably predict your freaking answers. Of course, party time. I would have done the administration work. You spend the week attending fancy gathering. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day, the king approaches you. Excuse me, but you look like someone who I can confide in, he says. I really want a prince to take over the throne, but the queen and I aren't exactly active in the bedroom. He blushes a little. Wait, Do you have what, any advice? What, what is going on here? <laughs> I think the king is asking you how we can, you know, get it on with the queen. Do you have okay. any advice on how I could romance queen, so to speak? Do you teach the king your ways, or do you admit that you don't know how to help? <laughs> I don't even know why the fuck I'm asking. Uh, considering you have nine charm, I yeah. don't think, uh... Teach him your ways. You spend the hours drawing a bunch of diagrams and going through scenarios with the king. By the end of it, he's just as charming as you are. He thanks you and hands you a large stack of coins as a reward. You gain three wealth. Oh, keep going, Derp. Alright, uh, Grassland, your turn. I, I... Congratulations, Derp. You just got the king to get it on with the queen. Is this meat and fucking them? <laughs> no. Tower again. Alright. There it is. Brew potion again, I'm assuming, grass lamp. Now yeah, I gotta clean up. You spend the week cleaning up noxious chemicals. You're paid one wealth for your labor and gain one physique and one magic. One day, an artificer stops you by for a visit. She's adorned with magical gadgets and gizmos and has followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. The alchemists of the tower all got out of their way to impress the artificer, offering her an array of potions and elixirs. As she's leaving, she adorns the most charming of the alchemists with a special trinket. Uh, okay, I guess nothing really happens there. Ragni, your turn. Um, can I also go to the palace? Yes, you can. Oh, no. No, you can't. Alright, okay. so it is restricted. So, I guess I'll go to the tavern. Alright. Do you drink or do you pass out the drinks? I bartend. You spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. You earn one wealth in tips and gain two charm. One day, a bard pulls out his lute in the bar and starts playing a tune. Unfortunately, his singing is horrible and is ruining the tavern's atmosphere. You decide to do something about it. Do you convince him to leave, or do you challenge him to a loot duel? Um... Can I just convince him? Okie dokie. You approach the bard and let him know that the tavern down the road is well known for its big tippers. Buzz off, the bard yells drunkenly. You walk away, giving a, well, I tried, sort of look to the other's patrons. It was on us in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The air shook. The air went still. Week three. Alright, midnight, you're up. Clean or brew? You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, while in the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to wash his potion while he's out. Soon after he leaves, the potion begins bubbling out of control. If you don't do something soon, it'll explode. Do you throw it out the window, or do you drink it? 
Oh, what, 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 oh, I... Hmm... That second option seems really... Dubious? <laughs> yeah, what could go wrong? Can you die in this game? I... I don't know. I... I played it to see how streamable it was, to see what the general mechanics were, and that's it. And she wants to drink it. You quickly drink the potion. Your stomach can't seem to handle the potion. Fire erupts out of your esophagus, and for a solid minute, you're shooting a jet of fire from between your lips. That burns. You lose two physique. And, <laughs> well, you lived, but... <laughs> Alright, Derp, you're up. Can't say that wasn't expected. <laughs> well, you didn't die, but you got one hell of a case of heartburn. Alright, Derp wants to fight now. He's started a fight in an unofficial setting. He's went to a ball and now he wants to, um, assuming compete, or do you want to bet your wealth? Come on, Derp, you have... Yeah, he wants to compete. Ah. Spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. One day, while wandering the halls, one of the fighters approaches you. Excuse me, sir. I need a sparring partner, he says. Are you down for a fight or two? Do we accept the challenge, or do we refer him to the bigger guy next to you? Though, Derp's pretty fucking burly. And charm. Jesus Christ, Derp. Derp is one sexy man, apparently. Let's do this! He screams. He takes a swing at your head. You get punched square in the face. The next thing you know, you're in the arena's infirmary. It appears the punch he gave you, he headache never endus. Symptoms include having a mild headache forever. You lose one mind. <laughs> Derp just yeah, cut and knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Derp, you're up. Uh, not Derp, uh, sorry, Grassland. Me? I'll go. Wait. It's Grassland, thanks. Oh, Grassland first, sorry. Yeah, you're a you're last one, ready. Hospital. Do you clean up or do you tend to patients? Spend the week diagnosing and tending the sick. You gain two mind and earn one wealth. One day, you hear spooky sounds echoing through the hospital. Soon afterwards, a glowing blue ghost floats down from the ceiling. She seems to be wandering the halls aimlessly, howling out terrible noises. She doesn't appear to realize that she is freaking everyone out. You decide to do something about it. So we got ghosts and we got fucking demon babies. Alright, do you talk calmly or do you try to vaporize it with magic? That's the worst hospital. I know. At least Derp went to the, t the arena infirmary. If you weren't here, who knows what the fuck would have happened to him. Magic. With a wave of your hand, you fire off a magic bolt. The ghost lets out a wail as a bolt per pierces her heart. She slowly fizzles out of existence. Well, that's it for that. Now you're up, Ragni. Ah, uh, the palace. Administration work? Yes. You spend the whole week doing paperwork for the palace. You're paid two wealth and gain one mind. One day, you overhear the jester tell a joke to a group of people. Everyone laughs, but you don't understand the joke at all. Do you ask for an explanation, or do you try to figure out the joke on your own? I... <laughs> um... I can figure out by myself, I don't need an explanation. <laughs> yeah, you tried. Several hours later, you figure it out, and a small chuckle is had. All that thinking gave your mind a workout. You gain one mind. Yay! And then the world was a howling fury, chaos, screaming. The sound of all we knew being Shut the and fuck happened. up, Derp. Alright, Midnight Voyager, you are up. We're on week four. Two more weeks after this. again. Hunt or chop? You spend the week hunting various defenseless critters. You gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. 
One day, during your forest excursions, you stumble upon a swarm of rats. At first, you jump backwards in shock, but then, you start hearing them conversing with one another. They call you over. Excuse me, miss, one of them said. Oh, high-pitched voice. Do you think you might be able to help us out with something? Oh. You see, we're trying to elect our new leader, but it seems our hearts oh. are completely tied. We're trying to decide between the seed pile of vengeful and blood tooth the house, says the rat. Oh wait, says the rat. Seed paw steps forward. If you vote for me, the rats will have a powerful leader, one who isn't afraid to take <laughs> Sorry, come on. One who isn't afraid to I can't keep the honest. One who isn't afraid to take our fight to the enemy for creating seed paw. Blight there steps up, yeah, what is wrong with this world? If you vote for me, good miss, I will lead these rats to an age of enlightenment, says Blighttooth. Which rat do you choose? Seedpaw the Vengeful or Blighttooth the Wise? Why are the rats asking a human? Dude, we've got demon fucking babies, we've got- I don't know what's going on with this place. Blighttooth. Half of the rats roar with tiny applause. Seedpaw bows his head and walks back into the mass of rats. Blighttooth climbs up on your shoulder and whispers ancient secrets into your ear as thanks. You gain one mind and one magic. No, no, uh. <laughs> Cowbox, shut up. Phrasing, bastard. Derp, your turn. And yeah, Friar John, two weeks in, I guess it's the end? All we know is the Yogg is coming. We don't know what, we don't know why, we don't know what it is. Okay, do you fight crime, or do you pickpocket? <laughs> you spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one, might, one mind, one physique, and one finesse. One night, a man walks up to you. Excuse me, sir. Feeling a little lonely to- Oh god, derp, you're being hit on, I think. For only a small amount of coin, I can make you feel good at all night. <laughs> you got all the money, Jerry. <laughs> Think about what you're doing. Oh god. What the Sure, two wealth, minus two wealth, or no thanks. Derp, do you want to feel boss? <laughs> Derp, you cannot back out now. Your choice is made. What do you want? <laughs> what the fuck is going on with this? Derp, you're fighting crime. I'm fairly sure this is illegal. <laughs> I have a feeling he's gonna eat a mu something bad's gonna happen, but he says sure, so... You're gonna get your organs harvested. <laughs> you hand him over a small sack of coins. You lose two Wait, wealth. Him. On your way to your house, you start about talking philosophy, history, magic, everything really. The two of you have an amazing conversation that goes well into the morning. You gain two mind and one charm. The man apologizes Wait. for the lack of sex, but thanks you for the chat. He refunds you back half of what you spent. You gain one wealth. <laughs> what the what? fuck is going on? What All kind right. of hooker is that? <laughs> Crashlam, your turn. Alright, <laughs> nope, derp. You have a simulating conversation is what you got. <laughs> You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic in one mind. One day, a swarm of rats infests the building. They are biting everything in their way. Everyone else in the building flees immediately. What do you do? Run like mad or blast them with magic? You wave your hands and produce volleys of fire to incinerate the rodents. Shooting all down, uh, shooting all down, what the, shooting all down those rat. Okay, um, I think that's a little off. Shooting all those rats really improves your aim. You gain two finesse. Ragni, your turn. Um, I'm gonna go to the gardens. Landscape or meditate again? I... I... meditate. You spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two minds. 
One day, on your way home from the park, you come across a golden ring in the grass. Do you sell the ring, or do you wear the ring? I wear it. Upon placing the ring on your finger, orange glowing markings appear on the outside of the band. Congratulations, you are now fucking Gollum again. <laughs> the markings unravel themselves from the wing and swirl around in front of you. They form what appears to be a fully armored ghost, radiating a beautiful orange light. The ghost turns to you and nods before walking away. The ring looks good on you. You gain one charm. When it arrives this time, so how will what you was fit? that ghost? I don't know. <laughs> that, that was it. I'm when sorry. it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? Week 5, Midnight, your turn. Alright, Doctor. Spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two mine and earn one wealth. One day, the bloodletting leeches somehow escape from their containers. The leeches start flooding in a- Flooding into the hall? How many fucking leeches does this hospital have? Wait, they use blood leeches? I don't think this hospital know knows what they're doing. <laughs> I think so. There are people screaming everywhere as the leeches slither towards them. Somebody do something, yells one of the doctors. Do you zap the leeches with magic, or use yourself as bait? You start taunting the leeches to lead them back to their containers. Wait, did... With great skill, you manage to avoid the leeches... Did I choose the wrong thing somehow? I must have. Sorry, I must have hit down twice. Oh well. Sorry about that. With great skill, you manage to avoid the leech's fangs. You then lure them all back into the containers. Quick thinking. You gain one mind. Well, that worked out anyway. Yeah, my, I'm sorry about that. Alright, derp. <laughs> Your turn, you crazy fucking bastard. Chop or hunt? It was ten bucks, Grassland. You spend the week hunting various defenseless critters. You gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. One day, you stumble upon a tall, nicely trimmed hedge in the middle of the woods. You sit and eat your lunch in front of the hedge, wondering what exactly it's doing out in the woods. Suddenly, an enormous hand erupts from the foliage. Foliage, foliage, blah, blah, blah. Do you dodge it or do you punch the hand back? Damn, Derp is looking beefy as shit. You manage to punch the hand so hard that you appear to have shattered one of its fingers. The hand recoils back through the hedge. You then run away faster than you have ever run in your life. You gain two physique. Foliage, yeah, I died fucking English cross, I can't speak. Grassland, your turn. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, all the alchemists decide to take a break from work and instead throw a cantrip party. One alchemist waves his hands and produces confetti in front of him. Another spawns a seamless, seemingly endless number of doves from his sleeves. And then all the alchemists turn to you to see what you can come up with. Simple trick or complex? Considering how much freaking magic you have, holy crap. With the snap of your fingers, you bring a chair to life. You sit atop of it and ride it around the room. Everybody else is quite impressed. You gain two charm. Ragni, you're up. Um. The palace. Ball or administration? Administration. You spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. You're paid two wealth and gain one mind. One day, the court jester approaches you. Would you like to learn the juggle? He asks excitedly. I'll teach you everything I know for a small sum. Sure, minus one wealth, or no thanks. Oh, sure. You spend the day with the jester, practicing your juggling technique. You improve dramatically. You gain two finesse. You gain another two finesse. 
You happily pay the gesture for his services. Lose one wealth. The Yogg. It's almost here. Almost. Almost. Last week. Wow, it's getting foggy, I think. 72 hours remain. It's all stormy, too. Midnight, your turn. Spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, you hear cries for help coming from the next room. Running over to investigate, you see that the alchemists there have accidentally created an ooze monster. How do you dispatch the ooze? Punch it, or blast it? I, I know which one's the bad idea here, but... I'll make sure- yeah, okay, I'm on the right option this time. But punching it sounds like a good idea. Considering she has, like, no physique. You pulverize the ooze into a puddle with an array of magical spells. The alchemists all cheer. You gain one charm. Alright, Derp. You're up. Last week. I have no idea how the stat- I have no idea what's gonna happen after this week, so, uh... <laughs> Tavern and drink. Alright, Derp. Getting drunk I think, and I think you want to bartend. <sighs> no, uh, I... I gotta take control of this. You spend the entire week getting wasted. You gain two charm and one physique. One day, the tavern throws its annual dart tournament. Do you enter or spectate? Damn, derp. Goddamn, look at those stats. Pretty wealthy, too. You sign up for the dart tournament, ready to prove your dart throwing prowess. You play a respectable game of darts and end up coming in second place. You win two wealth and gain a confidence boost of one charm. Grass lamb, your turn. Spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two mine and earn one wealth. One day a patient comes in the hospital with sores that nobody's ever seen before. While walking by his bedside, he looks to you and rudely asks for a glass of water. Do you get him the water, or do you just ignore it? I think he's got reasons to be rude. You bring him a small glass to quench his thirst. He takes a large sip, swigs it around, and then proceeds to spit it at you. The water hits you right in the face. After cleaning up, you scold the obviously insane man for spitting at you. That night, when you get home, you feel dizzy and start having vivid hallucinations about ancient wizards. You gain from what? You gain three magic. What? Hold yeah. on. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'd like to understand the correlation here. <laughs> LST trip equals magic. LST trip for oh, what? Oh, no, you Spence? lost three mine though. She did lose three mine. You gained magic, but you still went a bit insane. Oh, big fucking whoop. Ragni, your turn. This uh, one. I think I'll go to the slums to fight crime. You spend the week outsmarting and beating <coughs> up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. One night, you hear cheering coming from an alleyway. Peering in, you see a crowd of men cheering on dogs, violently ripping each other apart. One of the men spots you and asks, Oi, would you like to participate in a little betting game? Do you bet in the dogs, or you try to stop the dog fight? Um, I get the feeling I'm... I don't have the physique to stop the dog fights, but I I don't think I don't think I can stand for this sort of practice. I'm gonna try to stop them anyway. Fair enough. You try to convince the gamblers that dog fighting is wrong. The words fall on deaf ears. Very quickly, they get quite angry with you. One of them walks up to you and pulls out a knife. He tries to slash at you, but your reflexes allow you to disarm him and pin him to the ground. You put your assailant in a chokehold until he passes out. You stop the town's illegal dog fighting. You feel very good about yourself right now. You gain Ahem, one physique. Me. You gain one finesse. You gain one mind. You gain one charm. You gain, wow, you gain one of everything. The storm arrives in the night, but the morning it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. 
but then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we? Past saving? Uh, wow, okay. I think this is just a oh. one roll thing. All so right, for a vote. I, I don't know what... Oh, sorry. We, we got, so basically we got tsunami -ed. It was a storm, I guess. It was a yog. All right, vote. Um, what's our roll? I, I don't know if this is for each person, so, um... Let's, uh, do we lead? Do we build? Do we conserve? Doctor? Smelter? Oh, wait, blue. Okay, midnight. This is you. This is you first, midnight. What do you want to do? I see the blue arrow, so, yeah. Doctor. I don't take think it... a town drunk is a role. <laughs> Apparently it is. You take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from the yog. You're able to fix up most of your patients in no time at all. This means that there are more people to help with rebuilding the town. This helps the survival effort considerably. Derp, your role. I uh, know, I I really don't know. I mean, damn man, I'm, I think you're the leader of this one. With builder? Alright, builder you want. I was actually thinking of popping a leader, Derp. You have physique, charm, fucking you're a rich dude. Uh, are you sure, Derp, builder? Don't, don't go back on your decision. Yeah, I just want to make sure he's sure, because he said he, he thought I was thinking something else, but I was not going to make him a talent trunk. Yeah, man, whatever you want. I just want to make sure you understood that I wasn't, like, trying to pin you or anything. I didn't even care. Yeah, we'll make him the leader. What the hell? Let's, uh, keep this crazy train for derp going. And take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You expertly delegate in prioritize tasks. You get, give motivating speeches and act as an effective me mediator in disputes. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. Grasslam? You're next. Oh yeah, Grasslam wanted the conjurer. Alright. You take it upon yourself to help conjure up supplies for the town. Uh oh, did I crash? I think I fucking crashed. I'm trying to hit return. Though. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. What happened? Yeah, I crashed. It fucking crashed. What? How? It wouldn't let me enter. Oh, man. Well, we can go again, and I can give you guys your rolls again, if you'd like. I mean, it seems fair you didn't get to see your ending. I was going to let other people go, but, you know, it, it seems fair you guys can see how it plays out, so I got to turn down the volume again. Yeah, that, that sucks. I'm sorry, guys. We're at the end, too. I think I'll just let someone else go. Alright. No, Friar, that there's...